Well, Jay, you know, one pitcher that took such a step forward in 2022 uh, was Sean Jelly. And you remember, well, you and I talked about him in 2021. And, you know, he there were times he let his emotions get the best of him with umpires. Yeah. Uh, I saw a different Sean Jelly. I saw a more mature Sean Jelly. I saw a Jelly that didn't react. Uh, he, his stuff obviously plays, and he went to the big leagues and competed and did well. Uh, you know, had his moments in the big leagues, which is going to happen as, as a young pitcher. But then he he was uh, he was he had some solid appearances and starts. Uh, what did you see from Sean in 2022 that you maybe didn't see in, in 2021? I think you said it perfectly on um, the maturity aspect of it. Right. Um, just going into from coming in from double A to the big leagues and in 2021, you know, he's excited, was out there and didn't understand the league itself. And I think more or less what it was is he didn't understand him and what he needed to do as far as being a success story for the major leagues. And just having that small bit of time in 21, I think, prepped him better for 2022. And when he came in, I mean, got off to such a hot start, but it was because he was in control of his emotions. It was in control of his delivery and he was more understanding of what he can and can't do. I think that's the biggest thing that I try to help pitchers with when they get there is to find out who are you? Like you, you sometimes you'll go through an organization and you'll dominate just because of stuff, but you're going to get to a point where the, the talent level matches each other. And when that happens, you got to know who you are. And if you don't know who you are and what you can do and what you can't do, you end up making the same mistakes and, um, for him, I thought he did a great job of understanding during the offseason, his prep, our conversations during the offseason. Um, he's, he's, I won't say he's a favorite, but I love the kid because I see what he wants and how he wants it. And he's not afraid to go ahead and speak his mind. And I enjoy that from young people. I know you do. And, you know, look, you guys have had conversations and and sometimes they get intense and you know uh you know guys when guys go up and down like that and he's a guy right now in baseball you have guys that are up and down guys you know Blevins did it there are a lot of guys who have success in the big leagues that are up and down guys at some point in their career and it's hard it's not easy yeah. obviously they want to be in the big leagues and they go down to triple a a bunch of times how do you manage that not only with jelly but with other other pitchers uh that kind of roller coaster up and down the emotions of it how do, what do you how do you deal with that well, it's a couple of ways of dealing with it. For me, I think relationship building is like the most important to be able to understand who they are and they can understand who I am and building relationships. So once that is established, I think being a being a person that can just listen and hear them out and get whatever they're feeling off their chest, good, bad or indifferent, and being able to go ahead and not question it. Right. Um, it's OK to be upset. I want you to be upset. I mean, you're coming from the best place that you want to be, which is the major leagues back down to AAA. And so if you're happy about that, then I got more questions than anything else. So for me, hearing you being upset or hearing, you know, you need to do things better and then having that plan to put together so we can talk about it and figure out what we can do to get you back up there, but not just get up there, but stay up there and contribute up there. That is the the number one thing that I try and do. So to answer your question, try to be a good listener more than anything else. Thank you for listening to the Rivercats Nine Lives podcast hosted by Johnny Dosco. Please like, subscribe, and share with all your baseball loving friends. And make sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook.